Hi, I'm Crystal, a designer at Little Bits, and today I'm going to be making a holiday ornament. And to make our ornament really sparkle, we're going to need a few tools and, of course, our Little Bits holiday kit. So what I have here are a big foam ball, some red acrylic paint and a paintbrush, um, thin gauge wire, paper clips will work too, a metal file, but if you have a toothpick or a pen, that will work too, a pipe cleaner, some wire cutters, rubber bands, a handsaw, and an ice cream scoop. So what I'm going to do first is use the handsaw very carefully to cut this foam ball in half. Okay, gets a little messy. Um, so now that I have my two halves, I'm gonna go ahead and use an ice cream scoop to scoop out the middle. And it's good to have a garbage bin nearby because this part does get messy. And one tip is to rotate the ball when you're scooping so that you can have um, an even, even level on the inside when you put the bits in. So now that the foam balls are all cored out, we're going to paint it red. So one trick when you're painting this red is to start from the bottom up and you're going to want to make small strokes so that you can get in all of the nooks and cranny of the foam ball. So now that we have our foam ball painted red, I'm just gonna move it for a second. We are ready to make a circuit with our little bits. So we're gonna start off with a power bit and there's a little switch on here you'll see, so just make sure you turn it on until you see a red light. Next, we're going to attach a wire. And wire bits are great because they allow you to extend your bits so you can put them in different places throughout your project. So after that comes the light wire. Then we're gonna use another wire. Then we're gonna use a pulse module and a bright LED. So the pulse is cool because it has this um, micro adjuster on it where using a little bit screwdriver, you can adjust the speed of the bright LED. There you go, you just made your circuit. So now that our foam balls are dry, we're going to bring them back and put our circuit inside of the balls. So what you wanna do is put the pulse and bright LED inside so that it shines really brightly. And then you're also gonna put the light wire bit so that it fits inside. And I'm just making sure that the eel wire and wire are, are coming out of opposite ends. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clamshell the other side on. And what we're gonna do, just to make it easier, is use a rubber band and put it around the ball to hold it together so that while we wrap the eel wire around, everything stays together easily. Now we're ready to start wrapping the light wire around the ornament. The first thing we're gonna do, just to make it easier, is disconnect the power just makes it easier to wrap around. So, we're gonna start from the top and start making coils around the sphere. And I'm just gonna stop for a second to show you guys how we're gonna fasten the eel wire down to the ball. So, to make the little fasteners, um, we're gonna use the pliers and the thin wire. And what you're gonna do is clamp down on the wire, wrap it around the nose, and then go in and cut it off. So now we have what looks like a little staple. So after you have maybe a few inches wrapped around, you can use the fasteners, poke them in the ball, and you're just gonna stick them, I don't know, maybe every inch around the eel wire until you're all done. So wrapping the light wire around is really the tricky part, trying to get it ev to an even beautiful swirl. So we actually have one that's already finished that I want to show you. Ta-da! 
two other construction tricks that I want to show you guys is we can use our metal file or a toothpick or a pen to poke some holes into the foam ball and this will allow some light to show through from the bright LED inside. And one thing that we did was we cut a little pipe cleaner to be our ruler. So every inch or so, we poked a hole. So the next trick that I want to show you guys is how to hold the whole thing together. So you have the rubber band on your ball, and what we did was we cut the rubber band off and slipped it out of the EO wire. Using the same um, thin gauge wire, we made these bigger staples and we put them along the seams of the ball, kind of like this, just to hold the whole thing together. So we're almost done. The last thing that we have to do is attach the power bit again. So what we're gonna do is use the power bit and the nine volt um, battery cable as the hook, as the hoop that we're gonna hang on our Christmas tree. So we're gonna need another rubber band. And what you should do is sit the little feet of the power bit onto your battery. Use a rubber band to hold it on there, like so. And then one other trick, since the weight of the ornament is sometimes too heavy for the magnets, you can just loop the wire around and snap it like that. So now, you have your Little Bits holiday ornament. To experience the full glow, we are going to turn the lights off. That's all for our holiday ornament. Be sure to check out the other holiday projects and other Little Bits creations um, on the community page. and Or better yet, make your own how-to video and upload it to the project gallery. See you later, Bitsters.